Meanwhile, the Lagos State government on Sunday said the report of a suspected case of coronavirus at the Chinese residence in Gowan Estate in the Alimosha local government area of the state was false. The State Commissioner for Health, Professor Akin Abayomi, in a statement said upon getting the report, the Surveillance and Biosecurity Unit of the State Ministry of Health commissioned a search party and a community informer to investigate the matter. Abayomi said the, the street where the Chinese national alleged to have coronavirus leave was not found in Gowan Estate. This was after using all available intelligence from the key community members. The commission said the investigation will be completed upon which he will make a briefing, adding that the ministry has already increased surveillance on hotels and other resource centers in Lagos. Earlier during the press briefing last month, the commissioner stated that the level of preparedness of the state government in case of any reported case. What are we doing with the state port health, uh, with the port health authorities? Well, we're in contact with the federal port health authorities every day. We're making sure that all flights that are coming in from Southeast Asia, either direct or through some other um, uh, connection point, like you know, in the Middle East or on the, in East Africa, we have several connection points there. But we're just trying to make sure that all flights that are coming in from that axis, coming from Asia and Southeast Asia, we are particularly uh, uh, astute to uh, the passengers that are coming off the flights and we cannot really, you know, um, uh, isolate one ethnic group from another and pay undue attention. We just need to screw in everybody that is coming in on those kinds of flights because this virus, it does not know ethnicity, it, it just is all about contact. You can be from any part of the world as long as you contact, you have contact with the virus you will get infected and you will display the typical symptoms. So we have now what's called the biosecurity unit, which is based at uh, Yaba Mainland Hospital, the infectious disease hospital, where we had the Ebola patients and where we have our TB and HIV wards and any uh, serious infectious agent uh, affecting patients, those patients are taken to Yaba Mainland Hospital. It is our center for infectious diseases. So if we have Lassa fever, if we have monkeypox, if we have Ebola, if we have coronavirus, if we have yellow fever, that's where they go. So in there, we have developed our phase one, which is our capacity to diagnose um, these infections. So it's not an ordinary laboratory. It's what's called a biosafety level three. It is the highest level of biosafety that you can have.